Hi, my name is Karen Holmes. I'm the founder and director of the World Peace Organization for the One World Government. Today I wanted to talk about a very controversial issue that a lot of nonprofits will, will, or in our government, will go in and they'll t attempt to do something about, about a cultural, um, something in another country, like uh, dealing with issues and going in and but res ch any kind of change is resisted when it's coming from the outside of, of the culture. So, because it's a sense of judgment associated with it. Um, and, and I'm going to talk about honor killings today. I saw a, an article in the news about a man from India who, who had, uh, done, ha had perpetrated an honor killing on his daughter and he had decapitated her because he didn't like the man that she was with. Now, our organization doesn't dictate on culture and religion. Um, we, and neither will the international government. But what we will do is we will talk about how this idea can function on a higher level so there doesn't have to be this idea of, of um, the three choices and going down in the games like murdering your daughter. If it's an honor killer, honor killing, and the, the man has um, admitted that he perpetrated a crime, um, you know, by culture and government issued crime um, laws, you know, there's a problem there between the culture and the legal system. Uh, but what happens is this man perpetrated an honor killing to protect his honor and now he's lost his honor. In, the, in countries like India and Pakistan and China, you have this big cultural gap, a, a, a continuum, and the people who like go, live in the big cities and the and um, the rural areas, there's a lot of difference between them. People are still holding on to their culture, and and being an angry because they're being left at. In fact, the same thing's happening kind of in the United States now. We're starting to see this big um, continuum of frequency between Americans who basically are wearing flags because they love the Constitution, they want to express their voice, and the people who are actually just respect the Constitution as much, but they just don't have to talk about it because we're, we're Americans. We're not necessarily... Democrats or Republicans, we, we, our culture, we're a melting pot of cultures and religions, but we have the same problem too. So when we have like, like down is power games, straight ahead is to ignore the crisis and up is to function on a higher level, making it possible for everybody to function on a higher level. So where does respect come from that you have to do that? We've watched, we've watched Mulan, for example, um, she'll bring honor to us all. So is this a, a, a Mulan is a, a daughter who is going to bring respect or is the the girl um, from who has just been murdered by her father in India? Did she disrespect her family? It, or was she just following the blueprint in her heart to do that? Now I'm going to separate out women for example I'm going to separate out women and say that in one of our packets, our planning packet, talks about women waging war. Um, that This is the book that's in the planning packet, Women Wage War. And it, it basically talks about how um, women will, will choose to go down into the power games. And our world peace marketing strategy, you can find this online, Basically, the top row, it fits into this top row of the planning packet right here. The power packet, if you are, the overview idea is what can I do? If I have been slammed uh, and I, I've lost everything because I stood on the principles, then the, this row is for you because you're ready to go into something. Stand on the principles and work with other people who have the same, same interest. And the same thing with that girl who was murdered, the young woman who was murdered, was that something where she was following in her heart a blue, her blueprint to fulfill her purpose in life? Um, was, she, was she intending to wage war against her family? Or was she, 
was she just kind of like saying, Dad, I can't marry him, be, you, the, your choice for me, because I, I don't love him? You know, and that's kind of, you know, perpetra perpetrating the, passing it on to future generations. She's just, you know, she's been murdered because of that. So what we have is the three choices. Um, when, when women wage war, um, that's going down into the games or in the family get revenge on the family say I'm going to get revenge I'm going to run away and I'm going to my dad's going to be very angry with me I'm going to if, if he doesn't if he doesn't want me to get married I'll become a prostitute or I'm going to marry you know and I'm going to never get married and I'm never going to give him children or whatever getting revenge and punishment really is going down into the games that spirals the situation down the up idea is, okay, and then, so I should finish this. So what happens at this point in time is <clears throat> a taken down to the lowest level again about the people who function for their own interests and are playing power games. These are the people who, their life, maybe her life has been affected, but she's gone down into games. She's separated herself from the family. Now she's gone down into the games. She's she's working to undermine if she's working to undermine the family then she fits into this fourth group so what happens if she's breaking the law and this is a very interesting a whole new idea and that is the 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 project called torhana's freedom uh torhana was a getting revenge she was perpetrating acts of mayhem in in her culture and she was buried alive. The story of Mary Magdalene, for example, did the, she did the same thing. Imagine she lived in a time in in um, in let's say I think it was Israel, uh, and and at that point in time it was or this Palestine or whatever it was in those days um, called because it's had different names over the years. Um, imagined that in the town where she lived, um, the the uh, Romans were very powerful and as a prostitute if she had separated herself from her family she was probably um, having her 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 customers were probably either Romans or or her own people who were functioning for their own interests also and at that point in time she probably was able to to um, control, she had a lot of, it was abuse of power. Um, getting information, passing it on both ways, like a spy, possibly. People, the Romans using her as a spy. Um, and the same thing happened, I believe, with Joan of Arc and when, what happened to turn her over to the Burgundians. So this is something out throughout history, um, Merlin and abuse of power. We're talking about abuse of power in the games. So when at that point in time, uh, and Torhana's freedom, if she's making waves like this fourth row, uh, Torhana's freedom is a, a, a way for Torhana to come out of her crisis too. Let's say if she is afraid, if her fears have flip-flopped, um, then uh, where her little fear and her big fear have flip-flopped and her little fear has become the big fear now, it's decelerating. It's accelerating the fear, but she's spiraling down to waging war, getting revenge and doing that, basically creating mayhem. Then they buried her alive in a tour. And our, our Torhana's freedom is going to become a way for like sociopaths who have gone really bad, possibly, to, to resolve their issues before it, like being on death row but also also being able to resolve the issues so when she crosses over she's already w worked to undo the damage she's done okay now the top row then is has to do with understanding the difference between women who wage war coming up with a plan the principles associated with this understanding the pentacle of power revenge how it works and the moment of choice this packet is includes uh, cards that that are that make you think blueprint for revenge and 
So basically, if this is a matter of revenge, if it's a ma he's trying to protect the honor. Now, what would happen if the an another rule that we're talking about that will help is the faith of the pure ray? If this man has a daughter who is, wants to be married to somebody else, she doesn't want to be in the culture anymore, she's ready to leave her culture, what would happen if she w became a student at the Faith of the Puree school and was able to go there, f figure out what the life is. If she doesn't want to be the wife of a man and cook and clean for him for the rest of her life, she wants to just go have a, have a career then maybe going to New York, going to California, going to Miami or someplace where she can be around other people who are from her own, her own uh, culture. And that way she would be able to take, learn how to create the life she wants by understanding the principles of the religions. She's going, instead of rebelling against her religion and her culture, she's actually learning the principles of her culture and her religion as being a part of the faith of the pure ray. And then what she would, could do is apply to go to another country and possibly, like I said, California, in, into the, the um, technology area, the Silicon Valley area. And at that point in time, she might meet a man from her own culture and then bring honor to the family from outside the culture and, and create a, a Vesica Pisces, a win-win agreement between the two places. If the father now has a photograph of the woman and her husband who has honor in California, and five children or whatever, and she's still working and she's living the life that she wanted to live outside the culture, but in a more, a less oppressive culture, basically that's still bringing honor to the family. So this row is for people to build a financial foundation based on their own capacity. This row is being invited into a project and to understand who where projects are and is this a project like uh, who to bring in it really has to do with the plan but who to bring into the plan are you going to bring in are you functioning backwards so you're going to bring in people who are going to control you like the mafia or somebody like that you know they're going to loan you money and and they're going to trap you into some sort of issue you know all these things you know so basically, the, we, don't call, we don't dictate on culture and religion. Uh, that's something that has to come from within the, con within the culture and the religion. But we can make it so that, that people can function within their culture and their religion and do just fine um, where honor killings are letting go of that, with, letting go of the circumstances without having to lose honor in the process. Uh, the man who did that has now lost his opportunity possibly to get respect for his business. It cost him money. So at what point in time is he going to start to get respect back again? Is this something where he needs to work? Everybody, no matter where they are, can function on a higher level. So that's basically all I wanted to talk about today. I ask that you you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll put put the links down below, you know, for 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 all of these. Uh, right now, these are still in the potential states. We have we have as says today we have members in eighty seven countries, and lots of them are from India, Pakistan, not so many from China, um, but from the like the <coughs> um, the the. That Asian area, Pakistan, even Kashmir, that area. And that's because the people like to see, let, let's say the, the cultures are just moving so fast that they're resistance and how do they deal with all of these issues? And the international government can help do that. So I ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And, and most of all, share. Because this is something that needs to get out and people need to understand this. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.